what's going on guys today we're going to be styling the pro mariner pro sport hd 15 amps three banks on board marine body charger we're going to be styling the charger on a c pro 219 and uh we're going to show a step by step how we are doing it um it's going to go there and uh just you're welcome to see how it's going to be installed so yes today is the day we're gonna be installing the body charger it's gonna be it's gonna look just perfect on this area right here on this corner on the side right underneath that red cable uh first step is make sure that everything's clean everything's ready to be installed um the we're gonna have to remove this battery just to have more uh, space to play with the uh with the tools that we're gonna need and again first step it's removing the battery so yeah uh, this is gonna be really easy we're gonna get installed this is fun yep 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 Step number two. So step number two will be using the level, making sure your battery charger is level, and marking where the four holes are gonna go. So we got hole number one, hole number two, hole number three and hole number four step number three will be removing the battery charger and uh, placing some uh, scrub tape where the holes are going to be because we're going to be drilling and we want to make sure that we don't damage or we cause the less crack on the choke code uh, so step number three will be removing the battery charger and we're going to tape where the holes are going to be where we're going to be drilling the holes all right guys so there you go this is step number three um, already marked the uh, hole uh, where we're gonna be drilling and uh, using the template we are also gonna follow uh, the template to drill some holes on uh, pre holes for the screws for the stainless steel screws all right so back to step number four all right so on step number four on step number four we're gonna drill the holes we're gonna pre-drill the holes. We're gonna use the 1 8 thickness to make sure we don't crack the choke coat with the, with the nails. So that was hole number one. Hole number two. Number 
43 and So we got one, two, three, four pre drills holes ready to to install the body charger. At this point, we could remove all the tapes. Uh, we're gonna remove the template, and uh, let's see how it looks like. There you go. The template's out. The tape is out. Perfect perfect right on the spot perfect perfect all right so there you go the four holes um so let's go to step number five there you go In step number five we're gonna drill we're gonna screw the bottom the bottom two screws all right so it's gonna go there Screw again. First, we're going to start the bottom screw and then the tool on top. Okay, that was screw number one. So once you have installed the two bottom screws, now you're ready to bring the battery charger. It's gonna slide right on those screws. Let's see. That's one. And that's two. So at this point, we gonna do the top two screws. All right, so again, we pre-drill the four holes using the template. We also put tape, very important. Make sure you put tape, because if not, uh, you're gonna crack the door code. So, I use a tape to pre-drill the holes. I already installed the two bottom ones. Pre-drill uh, two bottom screws. Install the battery charger. Put it in place. And now we're just gonna tie up all the screws. So let's see. There you go. Screw number one. Screw number two. This is going to be really interesting. <laughs> number three. At this point, we are ready to, to place the battery back where it's supposed to go. Let's see. All right, so there you are. Again, positive with positive, negative with negative.
positive with positive, negative with negative. So we're gonna call this battery bank one. We're gonna start the positive with positive again. And negative with negative. Red with red, black with black. That easy. There you go. That's one. And that's two. I'm gonna get this out of the way. We don't want this to be loose. There you go. That's good enough. So battery number one, it's installed and ready to be checked. Last thing that we cannot forget is the strap. We also gonna use the strap to make sure we don't have this cable loose. We're gonna strap it right here. Yo. And that's battery number one. Ready to be. It's connected, it's there, it's safe, it's not gonna go anywhere. The battery charger is also in a safe place. So that's battery number one. Now we're gonna do battery number two. For battery number two, we're gonna use the same process. We're just gonna Unscrew the ball. We're gonna let this loose. We're gonna give it a little bit of just a little bit. And again, red with red, positive with positive. There you are. There you are. And black with black. Negative with negative. Should tie this on. doesn't need to be super tight just need to be tight enough so it won't be loose and make sure all of the making contact with the, with the battery we're gonna put this here and we're gonna strap it and voila a little bit make sure it's not loose there you go 
And there you go. Bank number two. We're gonna make sure it's tie. That's good. All right, so there you go. We have both banks, bank number one and bank number two uh, installed. The battery onboard, battery chargers installed. We're gonna have a three bank because we are thinking of installing a third battery that we're gonna be using. Uh, as per right now, we're just gonna remove bank number three. All right, so this is it. Here's the final product. Again, it's telling me that uh, batteries are fully charged. Um, again, this is the Pro Sport Pro Mariner battery charger on board, uh, three banks. What I did is since I only had two battery, um, I connect uh, two of the banks on this battery, which is gonna be used for the for the starter and uh, the other uh, bank to this battery right here. And again, that's not gonna be a problem because this, this charger is actually is gonna make sure that all battery are charged at the same time and the same level. For example, again, this is 15 amp, if that battery if one of the batteries uh, running low, it means that uh, it could charge uh, six and nine. It's gonna divide the, the amps as, as it's needed for battery. So again, uh, it's a great product and um, it, uh, you guys saw the installation. All right, stay tuned for next video. Thank you guys. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe. Uh, like and comment and again if you have a better idea how to uh, install a charger please let us know it's always good to have some feedback on on the charger and uh, anything that we do on the boat all right bye guys